Hello students. In this lecture 17 in calculus of variations, uh, we discuss the solution of the partial differential equation using related method. Basically, the related method in calculus of variations is used to find the approximate solution of the boundary value problems. In our le lecture uh, 15 and 16, we have discussed the solution of boundary value problems involving one dependent variable but in partial differential equations we uh, use two independent variables so that is how the boundary conditions also changes accordingly here we see the boundary conditions on a curve that encloses a certain reason so we are going to discuss certain examples related to this topic and uh, few exercises are also given here for your practice so how to uh, give the statement of the problem regarding the partial differential equations for which we want to find the approximate solution you consider the boundary value problem 1 in the reason r bounded by a closed curve c let u x y be prescribed at c that means the value of the function are given certain fixed values are given at the boundary c that this is the boundary value problem here p u x u x means the partial derivative of u with respect to x and again the partial derivative of the whole thing with respect to x minus p u y partial derivative with respect to y and the partial derivative of the whole thing with respect to y plus q q is any function u x y equal to r r is also any function this equation in a simplified form can be written as p u x x p u y y plus q u equal to r and here some reason is given and this reason is enclosed by the curve c and value of the function u are given at certain points on the boundary of this curve so that is how uh, this kind of boundary value problem can be described and we want to find the solution approximate solution of this boundary value problem so as in case of derivatives method you already aware that first we need to uh, formulate a functional form for which this partial differential equa equation one is the Euler's equation so such a uh, general functional form for this type of problem is given by this formula here just we substitute the value of p q and r we can find this functional and then we can proceed in the usual manner as in ordinary boundary value problems now to find the approximate solution of the boundary value problem one we assume a trial solution or the choice function or the choice solution such that the boundary conditions given boundary conditions are satisfied uh, let us discuss one example here solve the following poisson equation in poisson equation in a square that means here reason is a square and the boundary values are given at certain points on the boundary of this reason uh, you are given the poisson equation you already know the very uh, common equation u x x plus u y y that means curly square u by curly x square plus curly square u by curly y square equal to minus one and boundary in this region is the square that means and that is given mod x less than equal to one mod y less than equal to one it means x lies between minus one to one and y lies between minus one to one so u equal to zero at x equal to plus minus one that means whatever value of y you take if you take x equal to plus 1 and minus 1 and you take any value of y here then uh, of course on this uh, boundary you uh, see the value of u is 0 similarly at y equal to plus minus 1 whatever value of x you take the value is also 0 that means these are the boundary conditions given over here now first of our first task is to form the functional so if we uh, compare uh, this equation if we compare this equation with the uh, general boundary value problem here we can see p is 1 p 
is 1 and q is 0 in this case and r is minus 1. When we substitute these values in this functional form, the general functional comes out to be this. This one ux square plus ui square minus 2u dx dy over the reason r. And you know in this case the reason is a square bounded by these lines. So the value of x is from minus 1 to 1 and value of y is from minus 1 to 1. Now we assume the trial solution u in such a manner that boundary conditions are satisfied. So you can easily see at these boundaries uh, we have suppose I'm taking the corner points at corner points you can see here we have uh, u x y 1 1 and in this case uh, 1 minus 1 in this case minus 1 minus 1 and in this case minus 1 1 so at all these points the value of the function u must be equal to 0 so we choose the function the trial solution in such a manner such that these conditions are satisfied so this is an appropriate one we choose u equal to c 1 minus x square into 1 minus y square and if we try to uh, check we will we can easily see that all these conditions are satisfied so uh, this can be considered as, as an appropriate trial solution now because here we require ux ui so you find value of ux from here and uy from here and uh, substitute the value of ux uy and u in this equation with the limit minus 1 to 1 minus 1 to 1 here we put and we get this type of expression so first integrate with respect to x substitute the limit minus 1 to 1 then integrate with respect to y then substitute the limits minus 1 to 1 we get value of i equal to this thing now for maxima and minima di by dc equal to 0 and from this we can get value of c equal to 5 by 16. so you have obtained the value of arbitrary constant and when you substitute this value in the approximate solution uh, considered by you because we have considered this uh, approximate solution here and we have obtained value of c equal to 5 by 8, uh, 16 you substitute it here we get this as the approximate solution suppose we put 0 0 then u 0 0 equal to this and uh, it is basically uh, calculated to compare it with the exact solution but here uh, in this lecture we are not going to discuss the exact solution of uh, uh, this kind of partial differential equation that is a separate topic so uh, we uh, restrict our uh, discussion only up to the approximate solutions similarly uh, we have the next example we have to solve in this case the laplace equation you know in laplace equation in right hand side this is zero but in poisson equation in right hand side there is some function of u maybe some constant etc so uh, this is the laplace equation in this case p equal to one if we compare it with the boundary value problem one and q is zero r is zero so uh, boundary conditions are given when u value of u is given to be zero when mod x is one that is x equal to plus minus one and value of u is this one minus x square when mod y is one that is y equal to plus minus one so in this situation uh, we can assume the trial solution in such a manner such that these conditions are satisfied so the appropriate solution found, found to be this one u equal to 1 minus x square into uh, 1 plus c into 1 minus y square and then square bracket close so you can see here when you put here x equal to 1 or x equal to minus 1 then the value of u is equal to 0 so first condition is satisfied now let us look at this one if I put y equal to 1 or minus 1 here so only this part will vanish and we are left with u equal to 1 minus x square so this is the second condition so uh, the choice of this trial solution is appropriate now we using this value of p and p q and r substituting in equation number uh, this 2 in equation 2 here p q and r the appropriate uh, functional form for this case comes out to be this one so here we can say this is the appropriate functional and here uh, we have written here dy so now substituting the value of ux from here 
take the partial derivative of this with respect to x you get ux and then uy and substitute the value of ux and uy in this uh, integral we obtain this type of form then integrate with respect to x substituting the limit minus 1 to 1 then with respect to y substituting the limit minus 1 to 1 and considering the situation di by d is equal to 0 for maximum and minima we get after evaluation the value of c comes out to be minus 5 by 8 and consequently the approximate solution comes out to be this 1 minus x square minus 5 by 8 1 minus x square into 1 minus y square so when you put x equal to 0 y equal to 0 so the value comes out to be this but uh, you can uh, leave it up to this place the approximate solution is this up to here and we are not concerned with the exact solution here so on the basis of this dis discussion uh, we have uh, these exercises for example first one is the Poisson equation again but in this case the reason is changed and reason is changed that means you can uh, look at the reason here uh, you have to solve the Poisson equation in the equilateral region and the reason r of the equilateral triangle bounded by the lines y equal to plus minus x over root 3 so uh, because slope is 1 by root 3 or minus uh, 1 by root 3 so we can say the line uh, i think uh, uh, this this line y equal to x by root 3 and uh, here it will be the line y equal to minus 1 by root 3 x here and the third is x equal to a x equal to a so in this manner uh, we can see this region is being the triangular region is there and we are given that this is o this is a point and this point is b we are given that uh, u vanish on the boundary that at every point on this boundary the value of u is equal to 0 so we can say whatever value of x you take whatever value uh, of y you take here u whenever x is a y you take anything here x y root 3 of, of course on this line x y root 3 that is equal to 0 similarly here on this line you have uh, u at, at this line x and y both are varying so on this line whatever point you take that is also the value is 0 and this point is also on the boundary so you can say here u 0 0 is also 0 so in this manner you try to uh, formulate to try to assume the trial solution so that these boundary conditions are satisfied so I just give you the hint of uh, the trial solution here you can assume the trial solution equal u of x y equal to uh, c uh, x square minus 3 y square into a minus x so now you can check it uh, why i have taken this part corresponding to this one because x and y both are varying along this line so uh, exactly the same situation is happening along this line so this way uh, we have chosen this part squaring both sides and we get this thing and for this when x equal to a then again along this line the value of function is zero so this factor is corresponding to this part so this is the appropriate solution appropriate trial solution now here uh, you have uh, this uh, one unknown function unknown uh, constant c you have to determine the value of c uh, as by the procedure of uh, relay rates so this is here you can solve this problem and the next problem is regarding uh, finding the least eigenvalue of this so uh, again this is a uh, poison type of equation you take ux ux x plus uy over here and minus lambda u on other side so when right hand side we have a function of x and y so again that becomes a Poisson equation and in this case the reason is bounded by the circle means in this case the reason is the circle whose center at origin and whose radius is 1 so at the boundary of this you can see at this boundary the value of 
this uh, function u is 0. So accordingly uh, you find the trial solution and form, formulate the functional uh, we can solve this problem.